Hey Elementor users, in this video I'm going to show you how to apply a CSS change to child elements when hovering over its parent element. So I'm working on an updated business website and I have a services section here with a number of different cards uh, detailing all the different services. And you can see that they have a, uh, a white background, we've got an SVG image in here, we've got a headline and we've got some text. Now when I hover over this, my goal is to have the SVG as well as all the text white. Now, you might think it's straightforward to do that in Elementor, but uh, number one, this is uh, using the icon box widget. It would uh, you know, have the same sort of issue if I was using the image box widgets. Now, we would also run into this issue if, for example, we were just using a container here, like a parent element, and inside of it we had separate elements of an image, a headline, and a text. Because what would happen is if we set hover elements to both the uh, parent container, when I hover over it, yes, this would change red, but the text wouldn't change until I actually hovered over the text itself here or over the image. So Elementor makes it super easy to apply hover effects as well as with transitions to it, which is great. However, this was a use case that you know I ran into here. I'm gonna show you how I solved it. So pop open Elementor here. And you'll see, first I'll click on it, and you can see I'm using the icon box widget, okay? Um, so let's say I was on content, I move over to advanced, I scroll down to background, I'm going to choose hover, and here you can see I have my hover color set. So I've got a hover color set, it's this uh, burgundy maroon color, and then I have a transition duration of 0.5 seconds. So I hover over it, Again, I want everything white within that. So I'm gonna show you how I solve that. So the first thing I did was on my advanced tab under layout is CSS classes. I applied a CSS class of service dash card. And it wasn't just for this use case, but I always like to have uh, classes for something, especially where there's multiple elements here. If I need to apply a CSS change, I don't want to have to do that uh, to each of these individual widgets, especially them not being global widgets in Elementor. So initially, I already did apply a CSS class. Then I noticed I ran into this issue where I couldn't change the color. So I have CSS class of service dash card. So next thing is we need to apply some CSS here. Now, depending on how you want to do this, the way I've done it so far uh, was just within custom CSS here. However, I would recommend doing it within your global CSS file for your theme or within Elementor's global CSS. Uh, I'm going to show you just how to do it here because it has the exact same effect. And I, I, this is where I actually have apl applied it on my particular website now until I move it all over into my global CSS. Okay, so what, how do we target this? We're not going to use selector, which is uh, for this particular widget. What we're going to do is we are going to use, uh, we're gonna, it was a class, so we'll start with dot, and then we called it service-card. Okay, so what do we want to do? When you hover over this service card, we want to um, apply some effects to some of these child elements. So within here, if I go back over to my page here and I inspect this, let's start with the text first. I've got an H3. I've got a paragraph, and then I have an SVG here, okay? So let's try this out. So service dash card, when we hover over this, then we want to apply an effect. We'll start with the H3 element. Curly braces, and we are going to apply a fill color of white, which is FFF. And let's preview that. So that didn't work. So what we'll do first, before we diagnose further, is we'll try to use important here, okay? Because this hover effect may not be specifically targeting that just yet. Now when I hover over it, it changes to white. I know it's a little bit off with the transition duration, but we'll go over that after. You can see it's slightly off, okay? So before that, what we'll do is we will do the same for the paragraph. So let's, instead of making or having uh, separate calls here and duplicating them, we will use the same. So add a comma and we'll do the same for a paragraph. And we'll look at that. That's working, which is great. Now we're gonna do the same for the SVG, okay? Comma, create a space, 
and we will go SVG. Okay, now we'll try this out. We're gonna see what happens here. We hover over it. Now, why didn't this work? Okay, because SVGs work differently. They're not based on color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply something else here. We're gonna call it a fill value. And we're going to give it the exact same color. And we're also going to apply important here. Let's try that out. There we go. So that SVG is now bring, being brought in and affected there. Okay. So I could take out important, but then I would need to increase my specificity here on these elements. So I might need to add IDs or just some classes from some of the parent elements here to increase the specificity in CSS. However, important is going to do the trick here. Okay. Now the next thing is we'll go back here. So one of the things we're obviously concerned about is that this applies for all of them. And yes, it does. So we're going to imagine that this CSS is just set in a global CSS and it affects the entire page. Okay. The entire page where we find a service card class. Okay. So like I said, you can move this into its own CSS uh, file later on. All right. So the next thing is when we hover over it, you'll notice it's not why I mean you might find it okay but I, I think you see a bit of a lag when you hover over this and that's because we have a transition duration set on the hover so if we go back to background hover transition duration in seconds we have it set to 0 0.5 so that's on the background so I could solve it by removing this but I like this little transition duration so we're going to do the same for these elements right here so we're gonna add a new class or a new uh, target attribute here. We're going to call it transition hyphen duration. And we're going to give it the exact same value that we gave to the parent, which was 0 0.5 seconds. And let's preview that. Let's see how that looks. There's still a little bit of a delay might be slightly different so we can even adjust this let's bring this down to let's say 0 0.3 that's a little bit better let's adjust it one more preview and that looks pretty good to me so when you hover over this I'm not seeing much of a lag there I like how that uh, that works so that is how we would solve that issue. Uh, that again is going to work for the image box widget here. And this is also going to work if we just have a parent element and then we have these target or these uh, particular elements within it, the image or an SVG, sorry, a headline as well as text. If you have any of these, then you would just need to target them appropriately using the appropriate hover for the parent. So again, service card, when we hover over service card, then we're going to target the child here and then we're going to apply our CSS. So that's how I solved this particular issue for my website. If you found this helpful and you applied it to your website, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks.